Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, uh, I am going to show you how the autosave works. Uh, a lot of people don't even know Blender has an autosave. Uh, when you have a crash and you forgot to save and you've done a bunch of work, you forgot to save, Blender crashes at the worst possible moment, uh, you can recover the last version. Uh, again, a lot of people don't know that Blender will auto save your work. So let's get to it, guys. It'll be a quick one today. I am in one of the previous videos that we did. This is the parallax uh, effect video that we did. And you know, when you're working, it crashes at the worst possible time. But when you want it to crash, I can't make it crash. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend that it crashed. Um, and the autosave is right up here, guys. When you crash and you open up Blender, don't do anything. The first thing you need to do is recover. Now, what's the difference between the last session and the autosave? And it says it right there. The last session will open up the last version when you quit the file. It's not the autosave. It's when you quit, when you actually quit and when you saved. And then autosave will open an automatically saved file to recover it. So Blender will save your file for you. And when you hit autosave, recover autosave, it'll look to that list. Let's click on it. And I have a couple ones. See, it already saved this without me having to save. How do I know I haven't saved? Because we've got this little red dot here that tells me that I have not saved this file. But if I go to recover, last auto save, and I have this here, um, you can turn on and modify the auto save in the edit preferences and then go to save and load. Here's where you turn on autosave. If you don't have it on, I suggest that you turn it on and then it'll save the time and minutes to wait between automatic temporary saves. That means it'll save every two minutes. Every two minutes. So again, guys, we have this autosave. It will save it. And you do have an option to recover your file after a big crash. Now, the there if you go and recover the last session, this will be recovered from the time that you quit the last session. And it says it right here. It says open the last closed file when you quit Blender. You don't want that. When you have a big crash, you want to recover the auto save it says open an automatically saved file to recover it and it'll give you the where it is you just select this one and this is the recovered version so it automatically saved it hey guys i hope that this video has been helpful if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button guys it really does help the channel if you subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.